Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We're back at my favorite place here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is IAA Insurance Auto Auction. Look at all the cars off in the distance. Those aren't even ready for sale yet. Look at all the cars, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cars and trucks and bikes and all kinds of things. In fact, one of my cars is out here. I sent one of my cars to IAA to be sold. Um, let me know what you think it is. Do you have any idea? Hmm, I'll let you know if you're right or wrong and if you might want to bid on it. Maybe so. Uh, but we're on the hunt for some other cool cars to buy and fix up and use on this YouTube channel. So let's jump in. Here's something I don't think I've even considered for a tow vehicle. How about a Chevy Avalanche? This is a 2007 with humongous tires and chrome wheels and it used to have a really cool paint job. Kind of a smoke silver, it kind of fades. I love that. Almost a foos fade. But this car has been very, very heavily used. Um, and it, it, it got into a little fender bender. Maybe a little more than a fender bender. So you need a tailgate. You need a bumper, a bumper guard. You need a left tail light. And I don't know if this has ruined your cover. I love how they have these covers. And I love how they added that little part that kind of comes down from the cab. This right here, I think is kind of cool. It makes it kind of sporty, which is nice. Um, this is the ultimate version. So I guess it's very, very loaded. And I'm guessing, ooh, it's very, very dirty. Well, the back's not. This is okay. This is all right. Okay, well, I don't think we have power. But this, okay, now we're getting, well, there's a lot of wear on the driver's seat, the armrest, the AC control buttons, but it's a loaded truck. It is loaded up. And from the front, it doesn't look too shabby. Get yourself, I don't know if a Mako paint job would do it justice, but see how this is just kind of coming off? No one ever waxed him. Her, her, sorry, her. We have keys, very dirty armrest. There is a step up into the cab. Oh, okay, and there's no power, right? Yeah, the key won't even work. Dag nabbit. This would be so much fun to have. Oh, she would pull anything. The dash is kind of cracked up a little bit. I love the sunroof. Let's cover it up now. Save the... Oh, we got a fishing hook right here. That's a good sign. Got something to pick your teeth with, just in case you have some barbecue on the way home. Oh, I just touched it. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at the engine very quickly. I'm sure it's going to be... Well, very dirty. There's not an oil change sticker up here, and it doesn't have the mileage on the sticker itself. Here we go. <sighs> and it's the old Vortec. Okay, so the belt is a little worn, I would say, <laughs> but we do have coolant. We have a K&N air filter. Everything else seems to be in order. Does it run and drive? I don't know. Do I need this in my life? I do need something like this in my life, but this is a big risk. So let me know what you think. Should I, should I buy a truck that I won't even, the key won't even turn? That definitely needs a paint job. I love the big wheels. I like the little accoutrements that they put on. Okay, this is cool. Sidestep, the lower cladding on the body. This is cool, this is cool. And you get this. So, I don't know. That does kind of scare me. Here's something that I'm supposed to look at for my new best friend. Yeah, if you've been watching the channel, you know Nick. Nicholas from South Carolina. He is the one that found the back glass for the Wonder Wagon. Yes, he has a YouTube channel. Um, I'll put the link in the video and down below. So please go check out his channel. He loves him some town cars and the Mercury version, and he was looking at this car right here to use as a possible parts car. I'm thinking that it's kind of a nice car to drive around in. 
<laughs> it had a very, very, very low buy it now, something that I usually spend on a car. But it looks good. Tires are old. There is a little bit of tread left on them. But this is, uh, yeah, this is, the chrome is starting to let up right there. Let's just take a quick look. I think he just wanted some of the outer pieces for it. We'll just kind of see. Oh, it's, she's a dirty girl on the inside. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, Nick, Nicholas, this is, well, I don't know what that is. It's dried, at least. Ooh. Ooh. And it is hot in here. Oh my goodness, is it hot. Okay, let's just see what happens. Well, nothing is happening. Is it so dead? It won't even recognize the key. Here we go. There it is. But she won't. Yeah, she's not going to start at all. Whoa, this is, this is hot in here. This is really, really hot. And look at this, they have a lock. I guess that's for the trunk? How cool is that? That's a great idea. I don't know what I think about these little bronze painted handles. Let's see what's under the hood. As far as damage, nothing. You're just missing a little piece right here. And this right here, some scratches and a dent. I wouldn't be concerned about that at all. Thank you for the hood release. This engine is dirty. Look at this thing. How many miles are on this? It doesn't say on the sticker, but these are really, woo, they're good cars. They last a long, long time. I just don't know if this one is past its expiration date. It doesn't say anything about mileage at all. But, man, it used to be nice though. Big old bench seat in the back. Got a little pillow so your kitties can snooze. And someone did pop the trunk. No, they didn't. Well, it's kind of popped. I just can't open it. All right, well, Nicholas, we tried. We did try. And I think you have another car up there closer to South Carolina that you can use for parts. But once again, thank you so much for the uh, rear glass on the old Mercedes wagon. Okay, ooh, I just noticed that. Yeah, and the tires, ooh, that one's bold as can be. All right, let's move on. And finally, to complete our video, hopefully get me to the eight minute mark, something that is totally not Mike at all. This screams not Mike, not monkey wrench Mike. This is a 20, what is this, 2012 Toyota Camry. Completely unreliable, completely piece of junk. So boring, no, they are great cars. And that's why I never buy them. Because they're so good and there's rarely things to fix. On this car, you need a tire. On this car, you need, well, just to push that bumper in, this fog light is a little off. The back bumper is a little bit out, but it's nothing major. So why are you... Okay, we have some damage here. Right here and here. But that's it? Huh? I could fix this right here. Oh, well, somebody zip-tied it. There we go. So it's been like this for a while. There's your zip-tie. Okay. Well, you want to... Well, I don't want to say boring car. You want a reliable car that'll get you where you want to go and not give you any problems? This is it. This is it, baby. This is, ooh. So it has been worn. And it says, no mileage. Lost type is other. We do have power. Where's my key? Tell me this isn't another one without the key. Oh, wait, here we go. Ooh, maybe this is a uh, not so Toyota-like Toyota Camry. 257,000 miles, look at all the lights. 
maintenance required, check light, door open, brake, seat belt, half a tank of gas. 95 degrees out here is what this says. Here's your key. Now that it's running, it sounds a lot better. Auto, temperature, low, 68, low. Let's go all the way down here. Fan. There is a buzz in the fan. Someone did not take care of this car. Look at this. Look at how dirty. Everywhere you turn, there's soda pop and cracked vinyl. And I don't want to touch all this stuff right here. Wow. Oh. So it will go into gear. Okay. Air conditioner is kind of cold. Feels better than 95 degrees. Okay. I you know what? I've never even really been in this this version of the Toyota Camry. Oh my, this is why my rear end is hot. Thank you. Thank you, heated seats. Um, clean it up. Replace this and this and that and lots of other little pieces. Oh, you got a crack on your windshield too. It sounds good though now. The engine sounds really nice. Maybe I do need a Camry in my life. I love the new ones. Those are way sporty. There it is. Tried and true. She sounds good. Easy to replace the alternator right there. Air conditioning compressor is right there on the bottom, which may be a little more difficult to remove. Should something go wrong, but it's not. It's a Toyota. You got an EverStart battery from 9 of 20, so it's almost three years old. This engine sounds good. I'm sure the fluids have not been maintained. Well, okay, so there is some orange. Radiator fluid, the, the brake fluid. I mean, there's some in there, it looks kind of dark. This is a surprise, okay? Judging by the interior condition, I didn't know if this was gonna be a good little, good little car, but it is. Clean her up waxer that would make a huge difference a little buffing here get a windshield fix your tire push your bumpers back in that's a gigantic holy crap that's huge let's see what's in the trunk there's a fly swatter in the back uh here we go Oh, yeah, I'm getting dirty now. Okay, look how big the door is. <laughs> That's exceptionally large. What kind of junk's in your trunk, honey? There it is. Oh, nothing. Okay. Easy, easy fix. Easy flip if you want it. Toyota of Irving. XLE1 loaded up. Toyota Camry for thee, if thou wouldst like to have one, okay? It does need some work. That's She's a dirty girl. That is going to do it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching another walk around video. Who'd have thought a little Toyota could impress me like this? <laughs> I like it. I really do. I've, I've purchased dirtier cars, way dirtier cars. But this one would come back so nice. I think it's still going to be kind of expensive at the auction. So I will mark this down. We will watch it just to kind of see what is happening. But uh, yeah, she came back to life really, really easily. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again in another YouTube video. Hug those kids if you got them. I'm just kind of taking a look at all of the lights and everything on here. This was a really nice car when it first came out. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. And it could be nice again, should you want to add a little elbow grease to it. Yep, you could do it. Okay, folks, have a good day. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.